guys, Stephen Cox here, and welcome to the channel. I wanted to play this U bass on the lesson today because I'm not going to get a chance to after November because I'm giving this away. So check the other videos for details. I'll probably put a link up there if it's still happening. And um, today's lesson is kind of a more advanced lesson. So let's jump right into it. So the techniques that we're using today are a little bit more advanced than what we normally do. So we're going to be going down and up with the thumb. So that's like using your thumb like a pick, going down through a string, then coming back up. And this is called the double thumb or the double thump technique. Victor Wooten uses it a lot. So after we go down and up on the A string, we're going to pluck the D string and then pluck the G string. Down, up, pluck, pluck. So that's the pattern for most of our song um, besides the tapping section. So it's the basis of the groove. So we're going to start out by doing a C power chord. So if you're a guitar player, you've got an advantage on this. If not, that means we're going to push down the third fret on the A string, the fifth fret on the D string, and the fifth fret on the G string. And you can either use your pointer finger, ring finger, and pinky, or you can use your pointer finger and then bar the fifth frets that I mentioned with your ring finger. Just whatever's easier for you guys. I do a combination. When I'm down here, I do it like that. When I move the pattern up, sometimes I bar. It just depends on how big the instrument is, how wide the frets are, and just things like that. So we're going to do our pattern where we're on the A string with our thumb on the plucking hand. We're going to go down, up on that third fret of the A string. And then we're going to pluck, once again, it's the fifth fret of the D string, and then we're going to pluck the fifth fret of the G string. I'm using my pointer finger to pluck the D string, and I'm using my middle finger to pluck the G string. Down, up, pluck, pluck. So if you're new to this, this is going to be kind of hard to do fast. So I would just go through slowly and try to be as even as you can. biggest challenge on the U-Bass with this is that your thumbnail might get caught on the string and pluck way harder than you want to. So just try to pluck as lightly as possible and get used to having a really relaxed hand so you can get used to that. Okay, so after we do that power chord and we do this, we're going to slap the strings. And so all I'm doing is I kind of have my hand like this and I'm just laying it down on the strings. Right? And then after that, the reason I have my fingernails curved in like this around where the D string and the G string are, so that's actually what's slapping the strings, it's so that I can do a down strum out of that. So what I'm doing there is I'm barring the third fret on the D string and the G string with my fretting hand, and then I'm coming out of that slap with a strum. So I'm just sort of strumming with my fingernails down by kind of opening my hand up. And then I hammer on with my ring finger barring the fifth frets of the D and the G string. So hammer on. So you got to put enough force down where it can actually make a thump kind of sound. You've got that nice little hammer on on both strings simultaneously. So, so far we've got. Now we're going to move up to the 6th fret on the A string, the 8th fret on the D string, and the 8th fret on the G string. So that's another little power chord. We're going to do that same pattern of down, up, pluck, pluck. And then we're going to do something cool where we tap with this hand. So what we're doing there is we're pushing down hard enough on the 10th fret for it to make a sound. Then we're pulling off to the 8th fret that's already held down with the other hand. Then we're doing that same exact thing on the um, D string after that. Now we're going to tap once again with our middle finger or whatever finger you want to on this hand the 12th fret on the G string, 
and then we're also going to pull off from there to the eighth fret on the G string. So we got. So that's a hard little lick. Let me know if you need more instruction on this down below, and I might make another video just on that part. So, so far we've got. After we do the, the first pattern again, we're going to go down to the first fret on the A string, the third fret on the D string, and the third fret on the G string. We do our pattern there. And then we're just going to tap the seventh fret on the G string, and we're going to pull off to that third fret on the G string. It doesn't really matter which finger on the right hand you use, because it's just one fret on one string. Then we start over. And then what I'm doing there, after I get back to this one, then I'm going down to the first fret power chord once again, where it's one on the A string, three on the D string, and three on the G string. And I'm strumming it like I did before with the smaller notes there, but now I'm getting three strings. And then I'm strumming again once I get back to the third fret, the fifth fret, and the fifth fret power chord. So that's 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the D string, and 5th fret on the G string power chord. So I strum that one too. So now we've got this. And we start over. So now we're on to the next section of the piece, and this part gets a little tricky. All right, so in this next section, we're going to double time our little down, up, pluck, pluck pattern, which means we're going to do it twice as fast. And we're going to do it four times on each chord. So first what we're doing is the, the third fret power chord from earlier. We're just going down, up, pluck, pluck, down, up, pluck, pluck four times. Now we're gonna move up to the sixth fret power chord, which means sixth fret on the A string, eighth fret on the D string, eighth fret on the G string. Also doing that four times. And next, we're going to do a little diminished pattern. So what we're doing here is the 5th fret on the A string, the 6th fret on the D string, and the 7th fret on the G string. We're going to do down, up, pluck, pluck on that. And that's the same four times. And then this last one is different. So this pattern, we're going to do the 3rd fret on the E string. We're going to skip over the A string and do 5th fret on the D string and that's with our ring finger, and then I use my middle finger to get the fourth fret on the G string. So this one's a little bit of a stretch, and then my thumb is gonna be playing the E string, going down, up on the E string, and then I'm gonna be plucking the D string and G string still with my pointer finger on the D string and my middle finger on the G string. And we're just gonna do this two times. After that, we're going to just pluck the 5th fret on the G string, so I'm using my pinky, stretching it out to get that, and then we lift it up, and our middle finger is still down there on the 4th fret of the G string, and we play that one time. Pinky, middle finger, and then we go back, and we essentially just do the first section of the song again. Well, all right, guys, that's it for today. Once again, if you'd like to try to win this, you can enter the giveaway, and hopefully you will. And I will see you guys on the next time. Don't forget to subscribe, regardless if you enter the giveaway or not. And I'll see you around.